Hi, this is Tim from CPU Cores with a quick video demonstration of using CPU Cores with the Team Fortress 2 game. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Fraps to record the FPS. And here we have Fraps. Uh, we have the folder right here for all the Fraps statistics. We're going to use Fraps to record the FPS and we're going to do a before and after using the Team Fortress 2 game. And we're going to have a scenario that we're going to actually repeat as exactly as possible with and without CPU Cores. So let's go ahead and play uh, Team Fortress, and we're going to play it normal um, without any CPU core software or anything. It's just the default, the default way of running Team Fortress. And we're just going to exit out of many menus as we can. Now you can't fully see it on the recording. I need to. Uh, there we go. We need to move the uh, game window up a little bit. So now when we do this benchmark, we are not going to take a look at any menus or any any anything about the game other than when we can actually play the game. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the training one, we're going to do the offline, we're going to select just all the defaults, and the second we actually load into the game, we are going to run forward on the left, come back, run forward on the right, come back, and then go to the gate and wait for the timer to come down, and then we're going to unload our full 200 rounds. And then we're going to repeat that exact same scenario using the CPU core software. And we're only going to record when we enter the game. So continue, continue, and then we're going to pick the blue and we're going to pick the heavy. Alright, so we just started recording the software. We're going to run forward to the left. Come back. Come all the way to the end. Then we're going to run forward on the right side. Run all the way to the gate. And we're going to come back. Now we're going to do this exact same thing with the CPU core software. Alright, so we're going to back. We're going to go all the way over to the left now. We're going to go up to the very top. And we're going to stand still when the gate opens. And we're going to unload all 200 rounds. When the 200 rounds is done, then we're going to end the FPS uh, benchmark. And then we are going to do the exact same thing with the CPU core software. So almost ready here. And we're, we're not going to move, we're just going to stand still. Alright. Looks like we're actually somewhat hitting something, but we don't really care. We're just unloading all 200 rounds here. And then we're going to stop the FPS benchmark right when it hits zero. Alright, so there we go. So we're going ahead and exit out of the game. And let's take a look at what Fraps has for numbers here. So we're just going to view the folder that Fraps put everything in. We have the uh, three different uh, uh, CSV files, but we're just going to look at the average file here. So it looks like we have an average of almost 59 FPS. And that's just running uh, Team Fortress 2 just all by itself, uh, nothing special. So we're going to close this. Now we're going to do it with uh, CPU core software. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to bring the CPU core software up here. We are going to just do this really easy here, Team Fortress 2. And we are going to disable hyperthreading. We don't have hyperthreading on this processor, so that's already checked. Um, we have a dual core processor here. So what we want to do is make sure this is unchecked. And we're going to isolate all the operating system, non-game. We're going to send everything over to the first core of this processor and allow the second core to be dedicated just to the game, as well as being able to bleed on over into the OS core. So that's all the settings that we have. And we are going to go ahead and click the Start Game button. Now, when we start this, CPU Cores is going to look at all the operating system processes. And it's going to look at... Uh, you know, Notepad I have running, um, I have Fraps running, I have a couple web browsers just sitting here in the corner. It's going to take uh, all those processes and it's going to shove them on over to the uh, first core of the operating system and it's going to manage all those things and then it's going to dedicate the second core just for your game as well as let the game bleed over to the first core. So we're going to do the exact same test that we did before. So we're going to do training, uh, offline practice, uh, control point, start practice, and again, we're not going to start recording the FPS benchmark numbers until we're actually in the game. So all this menuing, all this talking that I'm doing, whatever, none of this stuff matters. And you can tell by using Fraps, the number at the top will disappear as you're recording the benchmark um, for resource comp 
conservation reasons. So we're going to continue, continue, blue, and the second I hit this button, I'm going to start the FPS um, benchmark here. So we're going to start the benchmark, do the exact same thing. We're going to run forward, and then we're going to run back. And now we're going to run forward to the right side. And then we're going to run back, and then we're going to run to the gate and wait till it opens, and we're going to offload or unload all 200 rounds that we have, and then end the benchmark. Now, obviously, this isn't the absolute perfect way for us to do a benchmark, but I think it's very reasonable to show off what the software does and to kind of get a little bit of a feel for how to use the software and the impact that it has on a game. So we're just going to wait another 15 seconds here, and then we're just going to hold down the fire key and offload, Mission unload, blah, all 200 rounds, and end the benchmark. And then we're going to compare the numbers. Three, two, one. Alright. So we're going to fire at the same little area here. Until we have all 100 rounds down. And then the benchmark will end once it's at zero. Alright, there we go. Just ended the FPS capture. And we are going to exit out of the game. Let's uh, put this over here. Let's take a look at what uh, Fraps has. Again, we're just going to open this up. We'll see two different sets of numbers here. You can tell by looking at the timestamps that, uh, let's see here. This was the first one right here, and this was the second, but we're just going to look at the summary anyway. Um, let's minimize this here. So we went from, these are some pretty large numbers here. We went from with... Uh, normal TF2 was uh, 58.8 FPS. The CPU core um, TF2 is 92.2 FPS. So that's a pretty significant difference here. The increase in FPS and we are going to use a calculator here. Let me open up the calculator. Let's see here, here we go. So 92.2 minus 58.8 equals, so a 33.4 more FPS, um, which is increase of Let's see here, of 92.2 divided by 58.8, 56. So a 56.8, we'll just say 56% FPS increase. Now the FPS increase you'll get using the CPU core software, it varies based on if the game is very CPU heavy or if the game is very GPU heavy, um, as well as what your actual specs of your computer. Um, are. This computer is a dual core processor, we can see right here. Um, I have a NVIDIA GTX 960 graphics card. And um, yeah, 56% increase in FPS, that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent number. And uh, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, there'll be more videos posted. And if you have any questions or if you're interested in CPU cores, check it out on Steam. And happy gaming.